What's up guys, this is Cody here with iPhoneHacks.com and today I'm going to be talking about 7 jailbreak inspired iOS 9 features. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first one that I want to talk about is picture in picture. So you can see right here that basically any video that you have, even from the videos app, you can detach it and put it anywhere on your screen. So you can see that it, we basically took it out of that web page and we have it here right on our springboard. We can resize it, we can snap it, and this is actually a feature that jailbreakers have had for a very long time called Video Pane by Ryan Petrich. So with picture in picture you can actually take this out of the video app or you can take it out of Safari, but with Video Pane you could actually take the video out of third party applications as well. So we could actually take a video out of YouTube if we wanted to do that. And Video Pane actually worked on the iPhone as well, and Picture in Picture is not going to be available on the iPhone in iOS 9. The next jailbreak tweak that we see in iOS 9 is swipe selection. So if you guys haven't messed with iOS 9 yet, you can basically use two fingers on your iPad keyboard and then swipe across, and you can see that I actually have my cursor right there allowing me to be a little more precise and a whole lot quicker of putting my cursor wherever I need it. Now this is something that we've had on swipe selection since like 2012. So this is really awesome that it's actually finally been put into iOS, but it's definitely heavily influenced by swipe selection. You can also see right here if we double tap, then you can highlight anything that you need to right there as well. Now of course we also have split screen multitasking in iOS 9 on the iPad. Now this was actually something that we've had on jailbroken devices for quite some time. There was actually a number of jailbreak tweaks attempting to do this like Kzar and OS Experience that tried to bring that split screen multitasking by allowing you to run multiple apps at once. But really ReachApp made use of that reachability and that was probably the best tweak that brought true split screen multitasking to iOS. But I do have to say, from the look of it, iOS 9 split screen multitasking on the iPad is going to blow those tweaks out of the water. But again, we still have to give a head nod to those jailbreak tweaks that attempted to do this first. Now you can actually see right here that we have a new feature in iOS 9 called low power mode. And this is going to disable things like push and mail, background app refresh, motion effects, and animated wallpapers. It also reduces performance and screen brightness. So even a small amount of battery life lasts a whole lot longer. Now Apple's claiming that this can actually get you more than three hours of additional battery life in low power mode. But of course, yes, we had that functionality with Bat Saber. It's actually a jailbreak tweak that was released early in 2012 that offered very similar functionality by cleverly managing battery draining components in iOS devices such as 4G, LTE, radio, Wi-Fi, and etc. Now the next jailbreak tweak we see in iOS 9 is Showcase. Now Showcase is a jailbreak tweak that I had on every single one of my devices and what it does is basically show the case in which you are going to type on the keyboard. So you can see right here that the shift key is uh, on so that means that we're going to type a capital letter so we have all capital letters on keyboard so of course when the shift key is off you can see we all have lowercase letters now this is something that should have been on like iOS 3 maybe even before that just because I mean even in iOS 8 nobody could tell when that shift key was pushed but of course if you had this functionality right here that we've actually had on jailbroken devices for a very long time then it would make it extremely easy to know whether or not that shift button was pressed or if you had caps lock on or anything like that. So this is a very welcome feature to iOS 9. Next up in the settings, you can see that we now have a search bar that allowing us to search for whatever we want to in the settings. So if we're looking for camera options, then you can see it's going to bring up quite a few different options for us to choose from. And now this is obviously another jailbreak tweak and it was aptly named search settings. And with that name, it pretty much did the exact same thing that you're seeing right here. It allowed you to search through your settings application just with a search feature. And last but not least, we have a jailbreak tweak called Last App. So you can see right here, if I just swipe over here, and let's say that I just tap on Pandora. You can see right here, when I open up Pandora, that I have a back to search button. And that's exactly what Last App allowed you to do. It allowed you to go back to the previous application that you were in. Now this doesn't only work in proactive, it also works in any application that basically if you're in an application and you tap on something that opens another application, then it's going to allow you to go back to that previous app. So just another nice feature that jailbreakers have been using for quite some time. So those are the seven jailbreak tweaks that we see in iOS 9. Let us know if you guys find any more in the comments below. 
course, as always, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. If you guys want to see more of my videos, then go ahead and subscribe. All right, guys. Until next time. Peace.